Hello everybody, I'm Sudhindra. I welcome you to the world of neural pruning. Today's topic of discussion is aptitude. Before I start with the definition of aptitude, let me give you an overview of what business is. You know that from several centuries, we have been doing business. Now, the way of doing business has changed. In the earlier days, it was an analog way of doing business. So what is business actually? Manufacturing a product and selling it or buy a manufactured product and sell it. Why do we need to do business? In order to earn the profit and at the same time to have a quality relationship with the customer. When it was an analog way of doing business, people used to buy products from the market and used to sell it. In case if certain products are not sold, when it reaches its expiry date, you need to discard it. So there was a lot of waste. Now with the invent of technology, the management of waste is something which has come in now. So the waste management and the percentage of wastage can be eliminated. And that is the reason in today's world, we say that we are in the world of digital transformation where the way of doing business is completely altered. So what we normally do, so these days you have seen that on online, when you visit a particular website, so they track all your information. So normally when you log in for the first time, you register with them, they get to know all your information like the date of birth, marital status, and your gender and other various information. So with this information, they understand how frequently you go on to their website and order for a product. What kind of products do you order? All this is kept track of. So this way, the customer's pattern of shopping is identified. And then the shop or the retailer will have only the kind of products that are sold in a particular area. If you are in an area where 100 people are consistently buying product from us, so we'll understand what kind of products they regularly order for. And then we do give offers on such products on a regular intervals. So that way we are connected or engaged with the customer. At the same time, we also know that we don't need to have products which are less sold so that we can eliminate the percentage of wastage. Whenever we apply for job, whether it can be information technology related ones, or it can be a banking related jobs, or it can be government jobs, they normally conduct a competitive exam in order to gauge the quality of the candidate who applies for a job. So now every company or every industry wants to have people who are knowledgeable and at the same time they need to also possess skill set like how good are they with respect to the communication how good are they with respect to uh, coming up with creative ideas and executing those ideas into a solution and at the same time they want to know how good is their aptitude so when you say aptitude what is that term called aptitude it is the generic ability of an individual to do something. So now you know that everybody has a hidden talent. You need to tap on it and you need to unravel it. So that process is nothing but aptitude. So now when you think about aptitude, people want to know whether you can take informative decisions at the last moment. So now aptitude is basically a test which is conducted on an individual in order to gauge how intelligent he is and how good he is in taking a formal decision or a business decision on the fly. When we apply for a job in any of these companies, they generally look for your aptitude skill set. So the aptitude is generally consisting of five different categories. One is numerical reasoning. The second one is verbal reasoning. The third type is logical reasoning. And the fourth one is diagrammatic reasoning. And the fifth one is inductive reasoning. So what are all these categories 
referring to when you say numerical reasoning so they want to understand how good you are with numbers how fast you will be able to interpret numbers so for that reason they do a numerical reasoning test and the second type of test is verbal reasoning so when you read certain documents how soon can you gauge the exact meaning of the document and take proper informed decisions for that reason they also check your verbal reasoning skill set and the third type is your logical reasoning so with basic information are you able to deduce a solution to a problem and the fourth type is the diagrammatic reasoning so when you look at a particular diagram or when you look at a certain pattern what is the probable solution that you come up with for that they do diagrammatic reasoning aptitude test and the fifth type that is inductive reasoning which is basically done in order to check when you are pushed into a situation where you have a unfamiliar information this how do you make a conclusive report is that what they test for so basically in order to sustain or in order to participate in the competitive world business needs innovation what is innovation innovation means it is the process where you come up with a excellent idea and then you execute it brilliantly and then the success of that idea is going to have a greater implication with respect to the profits that it can get to the business or the time effectiveness or the waste management that it can add on to the business and then also how good it can help the customers to be engaged with a particular organization so all that plays a crucial role so that's the reason business is looking for innovation so in order to have innovation in place they need to hire people who are with high caliber when we say high caliber so that's the reason the company look for a candidate who has knowledge at the same time who has a creative mind and also who can think on the fly so in order to check that ability of a candidate they do a formal round of interview technical round of interview and also they look for skill sets like aptitude communication skills and the personality of a individual why learn the required skill set when you go on for a job search so in order to make sure that the neural pruning students are really well versed with all the required tool set or the skill set what we have done is we have embedded a course called aptitude in the early age by adopting it from the class 10th so you all are given with a free course where called aptitude which starts from class 10th then goes on with class 11th class 12th so on till you complete your graduation and post graduation so we are today in the competitive world so let us be competitive as early as possible let us not wait for the last moment let us start the journey from today so guys i welcome you all to the world of neural pruning and learning becomes fun and interactive via our neural pruning classes so now get enrolled to any of the class 10th or the pre university courses and get your aptitude free of cost so enjoy and always learn learning is a hobby and continue doing it